Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to go over a new can crusher we built. Um, this one's pneumatic. Uh, we built another one uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, which is really a lot of fun, but they're really too heavy to move around, so seeing how we generate cans in a couple of places, uh, we thought we'd build one out of something we had laying around. Uh, and so here it is, instead of an electric, this one's pneumatic and it's really, really simple. Anybody could put this together if you could weld it all and you had a little scrap metal around. Uh, the heart of this one is a pneumatic cylinder. Uh, and I had this cylinder laying around, um, but it has about a six inch stroke on it. And uh, the problem is it's metric, so I can't tell you what the di diameter is on it. Uh, it's, it's used and the tag is really faded, but it's about four inches across here uh, and it gives you that six inch throw. Uh, this thing actually does a better job of crushing cans. It, it crushes them down thinner and probably more consistently and it doesn't jam, but it's not anywhere near as much fun as the electric and I'll show you both of them running. But uh, anyway, so what, what we have is just a, a L-shaped a uh, piece of steel I mounted the cylinder to and then fabricated um, the end here with a notch in it just out of some junk steel I had laying around to put this little piece on top uh, because it would it would miss one little section and it would be a little bit wider um, and then just, just a piece of angle iron on the end uh, there, there's no way it's going to go anywhere uh, if I had to do it over again, I think I would have probably left this piece off and attach it on the front like you see some of the can crushers on YouTube. Uh, because this one, it has enough power that it actually flexes this piece a bit, but I don't think it really hinders anything. So, and like, like you can see here, I just added little pieces on here there where I felt there was need. The bottom has kind of a rounded in it. Um, down here and so let's let's give her a whirl and see how it works try to hold the camera as steady as i can and we'll give her a shot here we go okay and so when you look at it uh you're down under a half an inch on that that's about as far as it'll go with this kind of air pressure And there you have it. We'll uh, we'll blast one more here. Here you go. And success. So real simple, one at a time, but it's sure a lot more fun crushing them with the crusher than it is with with your foot. Um, so now we'll move over to. Uh, we've already got a video of this one. I did a little painting, a little decorating, but here we go. Give it a whirl. And there you have it. This one's definitely a lot more fun. This one will stay in the garage. The other one's going to go down at the farm. Um, and one more little thing, here's my little helper. This would be Bruno the Legotto Romagnolo. We just got him a few weeks ago. And his big sister, Lucy. They're both Romagnolo dogs. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.